But it was really, again, uh, you know, Barack Obama's campaign in 2006 when they reached out to me and said, we need a Russia guy. Um, we want you to do it. And I said, well, what about broadly just having somebody to advise about democracy more generally? And they said, you can do that on the side, but we really need somebody to work on Russia. So right. first I joined the campaign um, and then we won. And that's how I ended up at the White House. So the president called you and said, hey, we want you to help with this. To be more precise, uh -huh. it, was, uh, it was somebody else. It was Susan okay. Rice is her name. Okay. Another Stanford grad. Yeah. Uh, we were in school together here and then we were in school at Oxford together. And it's a good story about Stanford, right? Stanford yeah. Mafia. Uh, she called me up, and uh, I had actually volunteered in a pretty low capacity for another presidential candidate in 2004. Um, I'm even too embarrassed maybe to mention his name because, uh, you know, he flamed out uh, with his pretty haircuts and other things like that. John Edwards is who, who it was. And I said to Susan, well, you know, I have some loyalty to this other campaign and he was planning to run again in 2008. Mm -hmm. And Susan's kind of blunt, and uh, she's a close friend of mine, so she can be blunt with me. And she yeah. said, you got to be kidding me. Um, this guy is one of the smartest people I've ever met. He is going to be the next president of the United States, and you should jump on this train now. And I had not really known much about uh, yeah. Senator Obama. I'd seen his speech in 2004 on TV, the incredible orator. Uh, but it was really because of Susan's conviction, not because of my mm. research about his policy positions that right. I joined. And um, and it was a ride of the lifetime. I mean, I, uh, I deeply, uh, that election itself was such a hopeful time in America. And I, it was just such a great thing to be a part of it, to be at the Democratic Convention. And, you know, it was in Denver in the stadium. And this guy was really inspirational. Then we won. And the transition was a little rocky, a lot of fighting of who's going to get which jobs. But I ended up, you know, getting this job working at the White House day one, January 21st, uh, 2009. That was my first day of work. And, um, you know, as I talk about in the book, we made mistakes and things mm -hmm. didn't work out the way we wanted. But um, on certain issues. But, man, it was a honor of a lifetime to work for President Obama. Um, I, I, I feel deeply grateful to that phone call that Susan Rice did for me. Absolutely. And, and I love the part about the story about how your friend yes. sort of just Trumps said, everything. you're going to do this, and you trusted her, and it turned into something amazing. And it really yes. speaks to the value of those social connections and the trust that people can influence us to do Yeah, things. it's a good lesson. It's a good story. Yeah. I, I met her when I was, you know, 20 years old as a Stanford senior. So, right. Um, right. Had a big impact on my life. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it. And a lot of people's lives. In fact, I think uh, Obama has really changed the conversation in a lot of ways. Yeah. It's been powerful. Good point. 